to really develop the shape of this year shows his pace. Pace, 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 Head over the ball. He goes back to Naish. He's dead kicked 212 goals for the Tigers. Richmond would be very excited about this young man's prospects, but he's turned it over there forward. Good kick from Lant, wide for Naish, who ducks inboard and redirects towards half forward and the target and finding uh, with Sutherland away. Lant gathers, snaps, it's across the face. Country have the numbers, but the ball falls for Naish, who's front and square off the outside of the right. He slots it. Brilliant roving and a fabulous finish. He knows this ground quite well, guys, because he's spent a lot of time with the Tigers over the last few years as a part of their father-son academy and program there. He, and goal kicking is no fluke for him either, Shifty. He kicked seven at, at school level recently and he just knows his way around a forward 50. Yep, and his dad, Chris, of course, at under age level was an All-Australian. Regularly these days. So Fogarty White for Grace. He gives over the top. Nash with time and space to run. He can hand it forward to Moore. Just to duck back in. Back for Nash. Who's been closed out quickly over the top to Rayner. Who's got time off the right to steady and fire and kick his third. Himself. He was dispossessed but finds it again. Nace trying to push off his opponent to north. Time running out towards half time. Garner to out point Myers. And he hands off to uh, Nolan. And then Nace, lovely kick for Hayes who just fell awkwardly as the ball got to him. But Bounce jumps it off. Give you a break there, Alex. It was a bit of busy start to that quarter. We mentioned Nick Caulfield before, you know, a player from Vic Metro who played really well last week in their win over WA. Uh, I like his run and his pace shifter. He's a 190 centimetre prospect who can play half back through the... Yeah, marking on the last line is Jones, who uh, spots up Nation on the way out. He's going to swing it back into the corridor. That's a very dangerous kick. Set a huge task for Dreyer. Enrith. Clark will butter up again. He controlled it reasonably well. Great tackle. Penrith forced the turnover. Nash clever hand pass. Moore. Nash again from 51. He can drive it towards goal. He hooks it left. That would have been a fabulous finish. He kicks in the McCartan direction. Big fist from behind from Caulfield. And then Nash forward to Rayner. He wants to take on Ling. Ling chased him down well, but he got a hand pass away. Chera inboard. It was uh, North who can give it in to a teammate in Constable. Now Nash can steady and hook off the right, and he bends it through. Does love a goal, Paddy Nash, and we can see why. He's really sharp with the ball. And he started that bit of play with that super handball out to Cam Rayner. Bit of space, opened up the play, and then kept going. So his ability to run through the lines and break them uh, should appeal to clubs as a top 20 pick, and a really smart snap there. What are his numbers there, Cal? He's had a fair bit of the footy. Yeah, he's had 17 touches and two goals now, so that follows up his 22 possession and a goal performance last week. So a really strong championships unfolding for Patrick Nash. Or will it go to Nash? It goes to Nash. He could almost kick this. I don't think he'll quite make the distance, but he won't be too far off if he shinned it well. He shinned it completely, but it falls for Constable. He shrugs one tackle, doesn't get through a second. And then breaking for him. Here's the shortest option in Nash. He's got more on. Uh, 
Garner really going near him. Hang on, the kick just didn't go to his advantage side, and Garner off the outside of the boot finds Nash. Jeez, that was good by Daniels, though. Clean hands at ground level, and really sized things up quickly. Look, as I said before, he's just got the size. He's going to farm this one off to Patrick Nash, one of the better kicks in the side. From 51, it doesn't carry all the way. A number of men rise, but... Uh, no. Took it out of the ruck. Higgins. And Nash sends a high ball inside the 50. Ooh, Big fly. Play. Claverino floating across. That's it in the back. So Constable does the disciplined thing, goes wide. And a lovely mark taken by Nash, showing he's got more than Dash on the wing, rising above his head, Cal. Yeah, and this would really cap what's been a strong game for Patrick Nash. So 22 touches, 9 marks. This will be his third goal if he can kick it. He's been an exceptional player this year. I think he's been one of the players who really taken his game forward as the season's gone on. He's shown an ability to kick goals on a regular basis. Uh, we talk up his kicking pretty regularly, but uh, hopefully he can kick this one and seal what's been a, a really impressive performance for Patrick Nash. Patrick Nash across the face with the drop punt. Big fly from Rayner, but he got hands onto the back. Constable, the leading disposal winner on the ground with 31 touches, six inside 50s. Jack Higgins was exceptional again, backed up his 30 disposal effort last week with another 30 touches and two goals. Joel Garner, we thought, was terrific off half back with 24 touches and nine marks. And Patrick Nash, as we mentioned just before, 23 disposals and two goals to go with Lockie Fogarty, 23 touches and two goals.